All right, we're ready to assemble. A quick summary. This is the back, goes against this wall. This strut will screw into the wall. I left room for the, uh, the wires to come under here and go into the switch and the thermostat. This one is full, right in this corner. I attach it in through this way. Goes right against the wall like that. Uh, the back piece was shortcut. I made a mistake. I went back to the depot. I bought more of this crap and I made the proper backing board. So now it fits nice and tight. And I'll use this one for the ceiling. So now we're gonna go ahead and assemble. So I got my screws in, preset, ready to go. You get this in position. Make sure you're not kinking any wires. Oh, that's nice. That looks good. Of course, look at this. When I preset the screw that drilled these holes, I scraped my, my board. So I got to give it another shot of paint. These are one inch screws as opposed to the inch and a quarters because these just have to get into that three quarter square stock in the back. The other one had to go through the square stock into that wall. Very difficult. Now the next problem we got is the outlet from the microwave. Oh, did you forget about that? So I don't want to put it down here because whatever I store in here, I'm afraid it's going to be slamming around and uh, I don't want it to hit that. So it's got to be mounted high, in my humble opinion. I could put it back here, I could put it in the middle, but it does have to pass through the ceiling, which I haven't put in yet. So I'll have to notch it. Or, how's that? But then look at the hole I got to make. This is probably the best bet right there. After I finished cutting, routing, and painting, I had to sand the edges where I would be laying down some maple stain. That edge made a nice detail. In case you didn't notice, those doors are actually picture frames that I had in the studio. Actually, I've got hundreds of them in the studio. Not all of my big brainy ideas are a success. I'm not much into contemporary, so I was looking for a warm, organic feel. Burlap seemed like a good choice, considering I had a roll of it in the studio. I've acquired all kinds of props and stuff over the years. I used a combination of spray adhesive and hot glue to get the burlap looking good on the chipboard. I made two burlap panels for each door. That way, both the inside and the outside would be finished. I also happen to have a frame stapler, so fixing the burlap panels into the frames was a nice easy job. I like it! I fastened the length of that square stock along the front inside edge of the cabinet. That will prevent any contents from sliding forward and busting out through the doors while I'm driving. I don't need those kinds of surprises, unless the camera's rolling. Remember I said I might have to cut away those little corners in the opening? Well, I did not. In case you are thinking, what an imbecile. Those antique cameras are going to fall right off his fancy shelf the minute he takes his foot off the brake. You don't even have to buy a vowel. I'll give it to you. So right now, I have some of my camera equipment stored in there. And as you can see, there is plenty of room for more stuff. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. You all know the lifeblood on YouTube is to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I am so very grateful to all of you for your support. Thank you. All right, we start on the plug. 
Take one step back. Lights on, and you're not home. Okay, stop. Don't go forward. Ah, oh, glove, you idiot. Again. Okay. All right, we're inside the microwave cabinet. This is where the microwave sat. 